I make a pretty good caboose. What can I say? I'm a good looking caboose. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am back. I know I have been extremely sparse here on YouTube and I apologize for that. But in case you missed it, I was training for a half marathon that I ran Memorial Day weekend. And so training for that half marathon took forever and it ate up all the free time I ever had. So that's why I just haven't been able to post very much on YouTube because I've been so wrapped up with training, but that is finally over. I'm finally recovered. I still can't quite go up and down the stairs very nicely, but I did it. I finished it. It is done. Let's talk about some nail polishes. This video in particular is probably the one I'm like really, really behind on. And that is the Unpopular Opinions Nail Polish Tag. This is a tag originally created by Jody's Polish. I will link her channel down below. And I'm pretty sure I am the very last person to do this tag, like legit last person. I would tag people, but I think everybody's done it by now. So I'm not gonna tag anyone, but I am gonna create a playlist of all of the unpopular nail polish videos I've been able to find. And that will kind of be like, I'm the caboose because I got everybody together. <laughs> I am so sorry, Jody, it has taken me so long to do this tag, but thank you so much for tagging me. So let's get into these questions and let's talk about my unpopular opinions. Question number one is a popular polish that you don't like. I'm probably gonna ruffle some feathers and that's okay, that's okay, we can ruffle feathers so long as there's no altercations. My polish that I'm not a huge fan of that everybody just loves would be Sally Hansen's Pacific Blue. Now, I can hear the mob already forming at my door as I'm saying this, but it's true. I'm just not a huge fan of this color. The color isn't vibrant enough for me. It's almost kind of like a muted cobalt. And I was expecting it, like in my mind, I pictured it as this like blazing, in your face, super saturated, really, really intense cobalt blue and it's not really that intense. So that's why I'm not a huge fan of it. I think a better example of what I envisioned Pacific Blue to be would be um, Sally Hansen's Tidal Wave in the Magical Gel line. Like if you hold these two together, like you can see right away, this one is so incredibly saturated and like in your face, it just kind of punches you right between the eyes. It's like, yes, cobalt blue, where like Pacific Blue is just kind of a washed out blue. Like it's like you put denim in the water washing machine or you've taken this cobalt blue t-shirt and you've washed it for like a couple of years and now it looks like this. Not really my cup of tea. I feel terrible for saying it because it's such a classic, like cult classic favorite, but it's just not saturated enough. Sorry Pacific Blue, not today. Question number two is a polish everyone hates but you like. I think that's what the question, I'm paraphrasing obviously. I have watched tons of these unpopular opinion nail polish videos and a lot of people mentioned uh, pineapples have peelings too and Essie's um, Bulgaria, I think. And so I'm definitely along that camp. Like I definitely do like pineapples have peelings too and I do like Bulgaria, which makes me now think like maybe those polishes aren't as unpopular as we think them to be. Are they really that disliked then? because a lot of people seem to like them. Conspiracy theory, who knows? I do like Pineapples Have, Pinion, uh, Pineapples Have Peelings too, and Bulgaria, but I would like to add for like my own personal opinion that I really, really love textured polishes. And it kind of goes along with those two polishes in general. Like when textured polishes came out, I feel like a lot of people weren't really quite on board with it, but right from the get-go, I was like, yes, I love this, this is awesome. Fully, fully enjoy a nice textured polish. Question number three is a nail polish finish you don't like. First I thought like, oh, there's nothing I don't like. Like I like everything. But then the more I thought about it and the more I looked at like nail polish swatches and videos and stuff like that, I realized no, there are some that I don't like. Number one would be jellies. I don't like jellies. I don't. I don't like the sheerness. I don't like shears either. So that kind of like watery, you have to do a million coats to get it to look relatively good. I just don't like you have to wait so long for them to dry. Not a huge fan of seeing a nail line. So I'm just not a big fan of jelly polishes or sheer polishes for that matter. Another formula that I'm just not digging. I just don't dig it. And that would be creams with a very faint shimmer running through it. Plugging the de-stash videos, but I've been de-stashing a lot of shimmers in my collection because I just don't like them. And the one that kind of like 
everybody lost their marbles over was pearl jamming and pearl jamming is a particularly good example of like this shimmery formula that I'm just not a fan of and when I de-stashed this polish so many people there were so many comments of like no not pearl jamming how can you not like pearl jamming so I actually like saved it and I thought okay maybe I'm missing something and I'm willing to try it because so many people were like no 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 it's so great I can't believe you're getting rid of pearl jamming so I'm gonna try it but I'm gonna tell you right now I just don't like these shimmery polishes I just don't get it I don't like it. Question number four is a popular brand you think is overpriced. Gut response is OPI. I think OPI is so incredibly overpriced, especially when there is a tremendous lack of creativity in that brand. I love the formulas. OPI has a fantastic corner market on reds and pinks. They have really, really good formulas. I just feel like they lack creativity in creating new polishes. Just kind of hard for me to get on board with OPI when they keep producing these collections that have colors in them that are exactly identical to colors they've already produced. Now that's not to say that I don't think OPI is a great brand. I think OPI is a fantastic brand. You just have to sh shop very, very smartly with OPI and you don't have to buy every single collection that comes out. You don't have to buy every single red polish because literally like they're all dupes of themselves. Yeah, I think OPI is really, really overpriced. Question number five is a trend that you just cannot get on board with. And the first thing that popped into my head when I read this question was gel nails. I cannot get on board with gel nails. Like I don't want it because I love painting my nails. I love changing the color. I love doing nail art. I basically wear one color for maybe two or three days and then I change it out for the next. And with gel nails, they are so permanent, which is awesome for those of you that need a manicure that's gonna last for a long time. They are so permanent, it's hard to change out the color. You have to like soak your nails in acetone or you need to go to and see a nail technician and have them take it off. It's just not for me, it's too permanent. I do love love the way they look. I love the super shiny and I love how thick they look when they're all dried and like cured. But for me personally, I am just so changeable and I'm just so like, okay, I'm done with this color. I'm ready for the next, even though I've only worn it for 12 hours. It's just not practical for me. Now along those same lines would be the nail wraps. So things like Jamberry and like Sally Hansen has some nail wraps. They're those nail vinyl stickers that you put on your nails and then you put like a gel top coat or just a glossy top coat on top of it. They're too permanent. It's just too permanent. I've done nail wraps in the past and I just haven't had pleasant experiences with them because they take so much work to take them off. Not gonna do it. I don't wanna do it. Done deal. Question number six is a trend you didn't like at its peak but now you really enjoy. So this one's kind of, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe I just don't know what's like super trendy and that's why I'm like, uh, is this a thing? I don't know. The only thing I could actually think of that I think kind of works for this question would be water marbling. I don't know. I don't know if you consider it still like at its peak at this particular moment, but like when water marbling first became a thing, I thought it just looked extremely wasteful. Like one nail was getting like tons and tons of polish. So for me, it first looked to be extremely, extremely wasteful. And then second, it was really hard. Like when I actually tried to do some water marbling, it was really, really tough and I couldn't get a hang of it and I thought it was stupid and I thought it was like, clearly you have to have some sort of magic witchery to get this to work because I could not get water marbling to work. But now I really do appreciate it. Like I've water marbled maybe three or four times and now that I've finally gotten a hang of it and I finally found like polishes that water marble and spread really, really nicely, it's actually quite a pleasant experience. And as far as like my thought process on it being wasteful, do we see the amount of polish that I have behind me? <laughs> like, it's ridiculous for me to think that having, doing water marbling would be wasteful. Like, I've got so much polish. I've got enough polish back here to do water marbling manicures for like the whole state of Wisconsin and I'd still have nail polish left over. Question number seven is a color that you don't wear often or at all. Nudes. I'm not a fan of nude colors. They're just, too bland, just too bland for my liking. Um, I really love bright in your face colors. I love glitz, I love glam, and nudes just, 
don't quite go there for me. I'm not necessarily like, oh yes, I need a nice like nudie peach for my nails for the summer. Like, no. Bring on the hot pink. Question number eight. A polish that you like but is overhyped. Flip Flop Fantasy from China Glaze. I feel like everybody loves, and I love it too. Like, it is this beautiful peachy, um, neon color that is absolutely fantastic. And the reason I think it's overhyped is because the formula sucks. It sucks so bad. Like it sucks. It's so incredibly awful to work with. I think the fact that it's such a unique color and it's kind of like a cult classic, but at the end of the day, the formula is awful. And I feel like if this polish were to come out today in like a brand new collection, people might not have the same opinions about it that they do right now, but because it's been out for so long and we've had so many people just ranting and raving about this color, and more importantly, it's a really hard polish to find. They have reformulated this color. It's not quite the same as it used to be. So I think that also kind of makes it into like this Easter egg hunt for this color and it gets overhyped and it, people keep talking about it and people keep mentioning it. It's overhyped just a wee bit. The other thing that I feel like is a little bit overhyped and I know I'm probably gonna probably ruffle a Again, ruffle feathers, sensitive topic, here it comes. Holographic polishes. Holographic polishes came in like a tsunami and everyone was loving it and everyone was great about it and everyone was loving it and embracing it. But now I feel like it's gone a little bit overboard to the extent where like people are fighting about whether or not something is holographic in the comment sections on videos and people are calling other people out saying like, that's not holographic. Like, I feel like that's, too much, it's too much, it's too much. While I adore holographic polishes, I feel like they are absolutely magical and fantastic. I feel like I'm ready for the holographic trend or at least the tenacity and like the trendiness of holographic polishes to kind of die down a little bit. And instead of fighting and bickering about whether or not something is holographic, let's just enjoy the colors and enjoy the polishes and enjoy the formulas and stop arguing and discussing what type of holographic polish it is or whether or not this polish is holographic like let's just stop talking about holographic polishes and just enjoy the rainbows and enjoy polish in general because i'm done i'm done with it i'm so done with it the next question is a popular top coat that you don't like i don't have an answer for this one because i like the popular top coats i like sesh Vite and i like sally hansen instant dry those are the two top coats that i use all the time i don't use anything other than that so I go with the flow on that one. Maybe I should branch out a little bit more with my top coats. I probably should. And then question number 10 is a nail polish that doesn't get enough love. I don't know, maybe I'm just not really that like connected to the nail polish community, but I feel like most of the colors that I like, most other people enjoy. The only one that I was like, oh, well maybe this one probably could get a little bit more airtime would be Tropical Pop from Orly. I really, really love this color. And it's probably because I am filming this video as we're moving into the summer and this color is always on my hands in the summertime. The formula is kind of like meh meh. I mean, it's a neon, so it's not gonna be fantastic, but it is so pretty. It is so pretty. And I really, really like it. I love this like neon orange. I think it's so vibrant and perfect for the summer. I feel like this one maybe doesn't get enough love. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know, maybe it does get a whole lot of love. And let's just say I wish people talked about this one more because it's so incredibly pretty. I think it works really, really nicely on fair skin. Um, I think it would also look nicer on darker skin tones as well because it's just a fantastic neon that just really gets you right in the neon socket and it's awesome. And those are all the questions. Those are all of my unpopular opinions. I really, really enjoyed doing this tag. Thank you again, Jody, for tagging me and creating this really fun tag. Like this was a good one. I really enjoyed it. But that is my video for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.